Some extra features are available for Kiros and TensorFlow. Let's start out by downloading the repo from GitHub. Now, I highly recommend using a virtual environment, so let's create a virtual environment. Activate the virtual environment. You can either run pip install studio ml or install directly from source as shown here. We also installed Kuros for the demo. The main features of Studio ML include capturing experiment information, such as the Python environment, files, and logs, artifact management and persistence, hardware selection, hyperparameter search, and robust and performant pipelines for trained models. You can read more about the different features in our documentation at docs.studio.ml. Let's train a simple model on MNIST, a benchmark dataset for handwritten digit recognition. Here is the code for a simple, fully connected Kuros model. You can also find this in the Kuros folder under Examples on GitHub. Now, let's train this model. We'll train this model for 10 epochs. And as you can see, even this simple training is sufficient to achieve over 90% accuracy. To run this model using Studio, you simply have to replace Python with Studio Run, and it's as simple as that. Let Studio ML handle the managing, sharing, and reproducing of Python experiments with minimal invasion in your existing code, and benefit from the seamless local, remote, and cloud execution. So go check out Studio ML on GitHub.